guys, my name's Phil. It's once again Tuesday. It's once again vaguely noonish, as I always like to say. Uh, this past week has been very... I don't know, interesting, I suppose. My big brother Chris, who designed one of my early prototype snare drums, actually. The first friend I ever had. He turned 40 this week. Chris turning 40 means the countdown is now on. In 18 months to the day, I will be 40. I always had an idea in my head of where I would be by the time I hit 40. It never really involved living in Australia. I tell you what. But it just kind of happened and that's what life does. Huge shout out to Ramsey and all the gang up at uh, the new Sydney Tool Store in Epping. Uh, Stephanie and I went to the grand opening of your new store. Which is fun. What's next to a motorcycle shop? All kinds of shiny chrome. I think I'd be more into it, huh? Shiny chrome. Shiny chrome. Sydney Tools. Stephanie's face. So that was fun. Um, got all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, yeah, when I get a drill press and uh, some sanding or some buffing pads and whatnot. The crazy thing was the, like this insane um, Milwaukee jacket, like a bomber jacket or whatever. I got it for 60 bucks. Ridiculously cheap price for that thing. It's badass. But uh, I guess it doesn't quite beat the deals that, oh, there's where we need to be. In there. That's where Aldi is. Anyway, we can turn right, and then right again. Um, I don't know, I just saw an Aldi sign. We're also going to Aldi to get some eggs. No, we're gonna go the other way. We're gonna go in the other way. We're gonna get two eggs, and that's it. And we're not gonna pay for them, we're gonna run away, laughing and giggling. We're gonna steal two eggs from Aldi. I bought a drill press, um, uh, like a bench-mounted one. Uh, even though I have an amazing wall down from the 60s, that, uh, yeah, it's very cool, but it needs some restoration work and I just haven't had the time to do it properly. So one day I'll get onto that. Um, and I need to get a new belt for it as well. So if anybody knows of somewhere to get a belt for a drill press that hasn't been made in 50 years, you let me know in the comments down below, I guess. So I'll be doing a video uh, in the next couple weeks about all about setting up my drill press. Um, I'm gonna build a little table and like a whole workstation around the idea of my drill press. I still have an old pedestal wall down from the 60s that is an incredible machine. Uh, and one day I'll restore it properly, but it has a, a wobble to it that makes it very inaccurate, so I can't actually use it to drill out uh, drum shells. What I do use it for is as a spindle sander. I've got one of those, you know, uh, sanding drums that you put in the press and you turn it on and, and you do the inside of drum shells. It is Mother's Day in Australia, but not in Canada, so I don't have to call my mom yet. Mwah! <laughs> mom. Um, I'll call you tomorrow, obviously. Today, Steph's got a shoot in the front room there. She's shooting a baby in the face for money. So most of this morning, I'll be on cat wrangling duty. Keeping these monkeys from destroying everything. Oh, there we go, never mind. I'm failing at my duties. <laughs> Stephanie, we're losing our mind. Yeah. Like always, if you like what I'm doing, uh, share, like, subscribe, tell your periodontist or your letter carrier or, you know, everybody you know about these videos. Um, although these ones are just kind of the filler ones and I should be doing more of the more interesting ones more often. Yeah, anyway, hope you guys have a killer week and I'll see you next Tuesday.